Social Studies World History 1. Analyze the origins, structures, and interactions of societies in the ancient world from 3500 BCE BC to 500 BCE BC. Explain the rise of the Olmecs. The Olmec Mesoamerican culture began to develop in the present day Mexican states of Tabasco and Veracruz near the Gulf of Mexico around 1200 BCE, 1200 BC. To put that in the context of contemporary events in world history, their development roughly coincided with the decline of the Hittite civilization in Mesopotamia, the reigns of the New Kingdom pharaohs Hatshepsut and Akhenaten in Egypt, and the emergence of writing in China. The Olmec were the first Mesoamerican civilization and greatly contributed to the latter development of the Mayan, Zapotec, and Aztec civilizations. There are numerous mnemonic devices that can assist students in the organization and recall of content and provide a logical process for instruction. One acronym is SPICE, which encourages students to break down information by categorizing the pieces as either social, political, interactions between humans and their environment, culture, or economic activity. This video will model that organizational structure. S is for social structure. Recreating a detailed record of the social world of the ancient Olmec relies primarily on interpreting the pictographs they left behind. Archaeologists have concluded that Olmec society was striated based on power and elitism from interpreting the pictographs on cave walls. P is for political system. The political system of the Olmec was based on a series of emperor gods. Rulers could be either gender, based on the representation of both male and female forms in the caves at Chalcatzingo. Caves figured prominently in Olmec worship, and their walls provided canvases for records of the civilization. Ceremonial carvings decorate the entrance, and scenes of worship and ritual adorn the walls. Because no records exist that name the Olmec gods, archaeologists have assigned them numbers and nicknames. One example of this is Rain Baby, who is depicted as a human baby with an open toothless mouth and a headband. Sometimes Rain Baby has strips of crinkled paper hanging at the sides of his face. This may represent the rubber sap strips of later Mesoamerican cultures which were burnt during rituals as the smoke was thought to bring rain. I is for interactions between humans and their environment. The Olmec were primarily farmers of corn and beans. Their choice of settlement locations was probably due to the abundance of fresh water in the regions of Tabasco and Veracruz as well as proximity to the Gulf of Mexico. Other vegetation yielded palm nuts, and the Olmec diet was supplemented by the abundance of seafood, such as fish, clams, and turtles. The settlements of San Lorenzo, La Venta, Laguna de los Cerros, Tres Zapotes, and Las Limas flourished between 1200 to 900 BCE BC, with San Lorenzo achieving the status as largest and perhaps capital city during that period. It is believed that San Lorenzo may have risen to prominence due to its strategic location, which was relatively protected from flooding. The ruins at San Lorenzo contain man-made mound structures and a large compound which archaeologists have named the Red Palace because of the presence of red walls and floors. Ball courts can be found in most ruined cities in Mesoamerica and were constructed similarly to modern stadiums. In these spaces, the ball game was played with all parts of the body except the hands and consisted of propelling a solid rubber ball through a hoop high on one wall of the stadium. Perhaps this was the precursor of modern soccer. The term Olmec is actually not the civilization's name for themselves. That exact term is unknown. Olmec was the Aztec name for the group and can be loosely translated to mean rubber people. 
Around 900 BCE or BC, San Lorenzo was apparently systematically abandoned, and another trading center, La Venta, began to attract population. One estimate places the population of La Venta at around 18,000 at its height. A particularly interesting detail of Olmec city construction was the use of north-south directional planning, with the inclusion of colossal heads being buried at each end of the line. The large heads face away from the town, perhaps in a protective stance. Also at La Venta, the first step pyramid in Mesoamerica was built, as well as the ceremonial plaza arrangement of buildings that would be repeated across the region in areas such as Teotihuacan. C is for culture. The Olmec left an extensive pictographic record of their society, which includes scenes of religious practices, images of gods, and ceremonial events. These records were carved into rock and provide a basis for understanding the culture. From this evidence, archaeologists have concluded that the Olmec had a formalized religion that included ritual sacrifice and a dedicated priesthood. They made offerings to their gods, which often were represented by the daily influences of earth, sky, rain, and maize, or corn. Animal gods were also worshipped and included jaguars, eagles, snakes, and sharks. The predators may have been associated both with divine beings and the belief that powerful rulers could transform themselves into these animals as changelings. Some gods were hybrids, such as the sky dragon and a human-jaguar combination, which is pervasive in Olmec imagery and appears to have been their supreme deity. Four dwarves holding up the sky may have represented the cardinal directions, and later construction in Mesoamerica followed the observance of those directions for city planning. The previously mentioned colossal heads are the images that most people conjure when thinking of the Olmec. Each stone carving weighed approximately eight tons and stood around 10 feet tall. The stone used was basalt, which is not indigenous to the region, and transporting such heavy material to the region would have proved difficult. Archaeologists believe that rafts were used and that the raw stone was floated to the carving location. Each statue has unique facial features. These unique traits such as headgear and jaguar ornamentation are interpreted as meaning that these are statues of actual individuals who may have been powerful rulers rather than just random works of art. To date, 17 have been discovered, with 10 of those having been found at La Venta. The process of discovery is ongoing as archaeological excavations continue in the region. Interestingly, the heads were buried completely to mark the cardinal directions so the locations of additional sculptures can be anticipated based on prior discoveries. Other sculptures were also buried, perhaps with elaborate ceremony. The practice of burial has aided in the preservation of many artifacts that might otherwise have been removed from important sites. The Kunsakt is another well-known artifact. Made of jade and made with jade tools, this ceremonial axe was fashioned to represent a half-human, half-jaguar being and is now on display in the American Museum of Natural History in New York. E is for economics. The Olmec were able to produce an excess of agricultural products, which allowed them to conduct regional trade. Obsidian knives, jade, and mica were traded throughout ancient Mexico and as far south into Central America as Nicaragua. Rubber, pottery, feathers from macaw and other tropical birds, and rocks polished to the sheen of mirrors peppered their trade routes. Chocolate was a commodity that was consumed within the culture, but like modern times, people apparently hoarded it for themselves. There is an absence of evidence that the Olmec shared this precious treasure outside of their region. In later periods, chocolate drinks were consumed by both the Maya and Aztec and reserved for the elite. Influence and Legacy The Olmec were the precursor civilization in Mesoamerica and greatly impacted the Zapotec, Maya, and Aztecs. 
across a substantial trade network, the Olmec influenced their surroundings. Religious practices and deities such as the snake god would be transformed into the gods Kukulkan for the Maya and Quetzalcoatl for the Aztecs. Culturally, the Olmec shaped Mesoamerica by establishing the style of ceremonial arenas, introducing the use of steric pyramids, and incorporating ball courts for public entertainment. Later, Mesoamerican civilizations would, whether it was known at that time or not, incorporate and expand on the foundations laid by the ancient Olmec.